Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, we'll take a look at all the new features, 4 to be precise, in Elementor Pro version 2.9. Let's get into it. The first big feature is full site editing or in other words editing each and every template from the screen that you see. How does this work? To put it simply, what you see is what you edit. That's the principle behind full site editing. So let's say I'm editing this page. I have a form, a heading widget and on this page, I'll click on the settings cog and here I've selected Elementor full width, meaning this page will have header and footer and the content in between is edited through Elementor's widgets, sections and columns. It doesn't inherit Elementor's single template, single page template, single post template or any custom template that you create. That means I cannot edit the single page template of this one because it doesn't have the design in this page. But as I told you, what you see is what you edit. I can see my header clearly and that's the reason why there's an orange button called edit header. So if I click on that, it will take us to that header where we can simply tweak the header itself without even leaving the page. Just like that, we had edited a header. All I need to do is to click on edit. Now, if I want to edit this page, I hover over this page content, click on edit page and that brings us to the normal page editing interface. The same thing with footer. If I see footer here, I see the orange button, click that and it will take us to the footer interface. Previously, you had to go to the footer template edit it, update it and come back to the page to see the changes. Now you can simply see or edit changes on the fly. Now I'm editing my footer. So just like that, I edited my footer all within this page. Now, since this page has a full elementary width page layout, watch what happens when I click on the page, I'll click on edit page so that I switch to the context of page editing, which is the normal context. So I'll click on the settings cog and watch what happens if I change this to elementor canvas. Elementor canvas will essentially remove your header and footer. So that's the reason why you cannot edit header and footer because you cannot see them. Let's click on the settings cog. Now let's change the page layout to the default one. So it'll take the single page single post or the singular layout that is defined in the theme builder template. I'll click on this and now you can see that it gets the single page design and that's the reason why I can edit the single page or post design right within this page. So if I click on edit single, it will take us to the editing interface where we can edit the single page template. Isn't it cool? Let's recall what we did so far. So whatever you layout that you see on the screen can be edited. It can be your header. It can be your single page template. This is an actual page and this is the content of our page. But since we can see all these things on our page, when we change the page layout to default, because it's in inheriting the design or the template from Elementor's singular template, you can edit them all within this page. Again, if I switch back to Elementor full width, all I see is header, normal Elementor page content and footer. And that's the reason why I cannot edit single page template layout from this layout because I do not see the layout. So what you see is what you edit and that's full site editing for you in Elementor Pro 2.9. And the second big feature is custom CSS in theme builder interface. So if you go to theme styles, usually you have to put all the custom CSS in the customizer area of your website in order to make it load on every page. But now you can simply pull up the theme styles interface and put it in theme styles interface. I'll click on the header, I'll save changes. So in case you're trying to edit a template before saving any changes, it'll ask you to save the changes. You have to click save. I have some CSS for this header. I'll just call this header, my cool header or my header. So this is the name of the section for this header. And this is the CSS that I have for this header. I'll simply take the custom CSS from this header. I'll update the page. I'll click on the theme styles interface, hamburger menu, go to theme styles interface. And down here you have custom CSS. I'll put it here. It still won't work because we have to replace selector with dot that class name. So it's my header. I'll do that for each and every selector instance I see selector and just like that. You can publish this and you can preview the changes. You can see as I scroll through the headers link hover color and everything changes. See that? So that's because of the theme styles. So you can put all the custom CSS for your entire website within your theme styles. Also putting this here will make your custom CSS independent of your theme. So no matter which theme you use or which theme you switch to, your custom CSS is safe in Elementor's interface. 
So that's really a neat addition to custom CSS. Now the third addition to Elementor Pro 2.9 is the ability to have dynamic colors. So you can click on this. You can actually get the color from the backend. So while you're creating a page, post or a template, you can have a custom field to change this dynamically. So that's a really neat addition. And the fourth feature is to have semantic tags. So in case you want to make the context of the content really clear to search engines, it will help search engines understand what the content of that page really is. So for instance, I can click on this section, I can go to layout and HTML tag can be set to header because it's the header of my page. The same thing can be done to this page. I can click on this page. I can set it to content. I can set the HTML semantic tag of this page to content. I'll click on this section. I can set this to article or content. So it will basically help search engines understand what things on your page really are so if you have like a recipe website if you have a sidebar you can give it a html tag of a side so that will tell search engines which is the main content and which is the content which is related to the content on your page that's a really good addition and it's at the right step in optimizing your on-page seo with elementor so that's all new in elementor pro 2.9 that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did Make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you in the next one. Until then, watch Elementor Basics playlist to learn more. There's a ton of content coming on Elementor and WordPress. Stay tuned. See you in the next one. Peace.